Can you install a mini split unit without a vacuum pump? This is mine, just installed, and it's a little bit more complicated, and you really want to pay attention to this video. Uh, now here it is. Uh, you put the unit on the wall, you install it on the inside of the house, you ran the hole, you ran all your wires outside, you connected all the pipes, and you're ready to turn it on, but you have to release the gas, the uh, freon, or the coolant, or the refrigerant uh, from the unit to the house unit. You see these big labels on the side saying that you have to pull a vacuum. It's very, very important to pull a vacuum. And you don't have a vacuum pump. What do you do? You just turn it on? Well, let's take it inside the house because I, I really want to give you some details as far as this goes. And here's the trick. Um, I've done a lot of research online as far as how this AC unit should work. And there's people that say that, yes, you can do it. There's a... Um, Indian movies, in Hindu, you don't understand the thing that they're saying because it's Hindu and I don't speak Hindu. They're saying that you could use a compressor on the main unit outside to pull a vacuum, but it's not as simple as that. And this is the boring part of the video, but this is the most important part of the video because what's going on is if you do the research and you really want to do it without a vacuum pump, um, you find videos that might want to encourage you to do it that way. Um, the labels on the units are very, very clear. You should not do it without pulling a vacuum. Why? There is water, uh, there is air. Air is very, very bad for the compressor because if you don't pull it out, it's going to go through the entire system. There is water droplets that become acid and it will destroy the motor. So that is a problem, but in the same time, you're going to reach videos, you're going to reach forums, and you're going to see that, oh, an old guy came over and installed in my house, and he didn't pull a vacuum, and it's still working fine today. Is it true? And that's the problem with this uh, entire thing, is that there's a lot of misinformation as far as what's right and what's wrong. And in this video, I'm going to try to help you by actually making a request. If you have done this without a vacuum pump, Please write at the bottom of this video a comment and let me tell, tell me your experience. How long have you done it? If it's still working? And that way, if I can see it, everybody else can see it. And then we could take a very, very good decision based on what other people say. Now, this has to be uh, taken with a grain of salt because obviously I can't verify the information. So if somebody's putting this information out, it could or could not be true. I read a lot of articles saying that you could do it without a vacuum pump and then the little air that is inside the line, especially when the lines are really, really short, in my case are about maybe two feet, three feet, a meter, uh, you should be fine. But then the condenser inside the unit uh, uh, over here, it's, it's quite big, it's, it's, it's a lot of piping in there, so there's a lot of air in there. Um, so I really, really, really wanted to do it without pulling a vacuum because I didn't have a vacuum pump. And I've struggled and researched and done all the things that I needed to do. And I watch all these Hindu videos online uh, about how it can be done with a compressor on the unit. But you can't. You just cannot do it with a compressor on the unit. Because there's two valves that are closed and you just cannot pull a vacuum with a compressor on the unit. With that being said, three days later I was able to find a vacuum pump. And with the help of the vacuum pump, I pulled the vacuum and I feel much better today. Uh, we started a little bit over a month ago. I don't have any freon leakages so far. It's still working. Um, and I know it's working because even though it's cold outside, uh, it's working as a heat pump because this one has a heat pump, which is very important for me. Um, I'm very, very happy with my installation, but I did pull a vacuum. But it was really, really hard to find that vacuum pump. And as I said in the video in the beginning, I really wanted to do it without it. I just wanted to give it a try to just buy two units and install one with, with one without, and see what happens, how long they last. But then reason came in and uh, I've done it the way that the manufacturer recommended. I've done it the way that everybody else recommends it. I've done it the, the way that the manual says it should be done. And I've done it the way that most of the videos say it's, it, it needs to be done. Um, Look through the comments. Um, I'm, I'm maybe going to make an update video, but look through the comments, see what people put at the bottom of this video. Uh, can it be done or cannot be done without a vacuum pump? In my case, I have done it with a vacuum pump, which is the most basic installation that you could do um, the right way. Could have got away with it by doing it without a vacuum pump. 
that remains to be seen based on the comments on this video. So thanks for watching and um, I really, really look forward to see what this video is going to bring as far as the comment section goes because it still drives me nuts. Those three days that I had to look for the vacuum pump, it, it was excruciating because it's hard to find one where I live. Thanks for watching.